We don't have enough equipment to meet the growing demand for potentially life-saving tests. And the wait time Here's your daily roundup of the party leader's campaigns. Conservative leader Andrew Scheer spent the day in Atlantic Canada promising to buy new equipment for this country's hospitals. He made that announcement in St. John, New Brunswick, before heading to Annapolis Royal, Royal, Nova Scotia. He's ending the day in Port Williams, Nova Scotia. Sheard answered more questions about Justin Trudeau's blackface images and whether the Conservatives have evidence of more instances. The CBC's Katie Simpson has more for us. Hey, Vashi. Andrew Scheer says he's not aware of any more compromising material his party has on Justin Trudeau. The Conservative leader was asked if there's more video or photos after the party leaked a blackface clip of the Liberal leader to Global News. He used the opportunity to attack Trudeau, saying his apology is not acceptable, accusing him of having one set of rules for himself while holding others to a higher standard. Shear was asked, though, if he too applies a different set of rules to himself because he's making his candidates apologize for past offensive comments, yet he's standing by his pointed 2005 speech arguing against same-sex marriage. He had an opportunity to address this head-on and uh, instead he, f he lied when he was asked about how many times he did it. But sir, I asked about you. Yeah, well, again, you know, I've addressed that issue. The, but, the, the, but issue, are, here, but the, the issue here is that these, when these uh, photos and these incidents came to light, Justin Trudeau had an opportunity to address them head on. Uh, and in, in doing that, he, he lied about how many times it happens. Scheer says the country has moved on from the same-sex marriage debate, and so has he. The message Scheer wanted to focus on today is his policy announcement that if elected, he would invest $1.5 billion in new MRI and CT machines in an effort to reduce patient wait times. He would need to get the provinces on board with that. And while new health care money is always welcome, negotiating with the provinces to make sure they use it for the intended purpose can sometimes get complicated. Vashi. Thanks, Katie. The CBC's Katie Simpson has been traveling with the Conservatives this past week. After the photos and video of Justin Trudeau in blackface surfaced, the Liberal leader attempted today to get the campaign back on track with a pledge to crack down on gun crime in Canada. Trudeau was in Toronto in the Danforth riding where there was a deadly shooting, of course, last July. The Liberal leader, though, is still being dogged by questions about those blackface images out this week. Obviously, I uh, deeply hurt uh, racialized Canadians, and I am deeply sorry for that. Reporters on the campaign say while walking around Danforth Avenue following his announcement, many people stopped to speak with Trudeau, and at one point a passerby shouted, where's your blackface? NDP leader Jagmeet Singh, meanwhile, continues to call out Trudeau over those images. There's a lot of Canadians right now that are seeing these images of the Prime Minister essentially mocking their reality, and they're, they're hurting. But Singh has been speaking directly to racialized Canadians in the wake of those images. Today, the NDP leader was in Windsor, Ontario, where he told reporters Trudeau's team has reached out to his team. The CBC's Hannah Thibodeau has more on that. Hey, Vashi. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh started his day talking about his party's National Universal Pharmacare program and reiterating that it would start next year. However, questions about Justin Trudeau wearing black and brown face continue. However, Singh has been very careful to avoid the politics of this, even in the midst of an election campaign. To me, labeling the behavior racist or not isn't the important thing here. The important thing is that what is its impact on a vast majority of people. Singh says Trudeau's team has reached out to his in order to arrange a phone call. I will uh, be apologizing to him personally as uh, a racialized Canadian, as uh, I have been apologizing to Canadians who have uh, suffered discrimination and, uh, and intolerance their entire lives in ways that some of us, like me, have never had to experience on a daily basis. I don't want the conversation that I have with Mr. Trudeau to be used as a tool in his exoneration or to be used as a way for him to say, I've had a conversation with a racialized leader and now I've done my job. That's up to Canadians to answer whether they're satisfied. It's up to Canadians to say whether they're happy with his responses. Singh says he's willing to have a discussion with Trudeau as long as it remains private. Fashi. Thanks, Hannah. The CBC's Hannah Thibodeau, who has been traveling with the NDP this past week. Green Party leader Elizabeth May unveiled her plan today to clean up Canada's transport industry, she says. As Wayne Gretzky famously said, you have to skate to where the puck is going. 
Fossil fuels May says not. the Green Party would ban the types of vehicles most people drive by 2030, internal combustion engine passenger vehicles. She would also make all public transit in Canada zero emission by 2040. The Green Party leader made that announcement in Calgary, the heart of Canada's oil industry. Speaking to reporters, May also addressed those blackface images of Justin Trudeau. CBC's Carolyn Dunn has more. Hi, Vashi. So I asked Elizabeth May on her campaign stop here in Calgary if she thinks that uh, Liberal leader Justin Trudeau should resign in light of his blackface controversy. She said, well, that's up to him, really. But she did take special pains to note the difference between how a Liberal candidate would be treated under the same circumstances and how the Liberal leader is faring. She called that a double standard. Then, just a couple of hours after that, we learned that one of May's own candidates from Newfoundland, Greg Malone, had appeared in a movie in which blackface was employed. So we went back to her, we asked her if she knew, and we asked her if that disqualified him as a candidate. Greg made us aware of that immediately, uh, given that his career is as a satirist, a comic, an actor, and a public figure, in which the, the use of this, uh, which uh, was never something I would uh, recommend, but it was in a context that involved being broadcast, not hidden. Uh, Greg's work is historic, and some of what appeared at CBC at the time is something the CBC would not broadcast today. And Greg feels that way very strongly. And Vashi, in addition to her transportation announcements, as well as all those questions about blackface vis-a-vis -vis Liberal leader Justin Trudeau and her own candidate Greg Malone, Elizabeth May also took part in the global climate strike right here in the heart of corporate oil and gas country. Thanks, Carolyn. The CBC's Carolyn Dunn for us with the Green Party in Calgary. Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.